Welcome back to Dusseldorf and the World Table Tennis Championships. We're back to the men's singles. It's the quarterfinals. Eight players left in these World Championships in the men's singles. And we're now going to see a spectacular entrance of the players. There is one table left in this central arena, 8,000 seats around it. It's been sold out for three days, the last three days of the competition. And here comes Koki Niwa, the 22-year-old from Japan. What a tournament Japan are having. Koki Niwa ranked number 11 in the world, somewhat of a child prodigy, really, Koki Niwa. At the age of 11, he was part of the Japanese under-18 team. Hasn't really delivered massively on the singles scene as a senior player. Team silver in Rio, he's got an Olympic silver medal. Now he's up against a formidable opponent here. Seeded number two, world ranked number two at the age of 20, Fan Shendong. Potentially the young pretender, the player in waiting. And as he waited long enough, could Dusseldorf be where he wins his first men's singles title? His teammates, Marlong, the number one seed, 28 years of age. Xu Xin, his doubles partner, he's now the world doubles champion. He won that a few hours ago. He's 27 years of age. Fan Shendong, just 20. So the players spinning the coin at this stage. They've been introduced to the crowd. They've shaken hands with the officials. They've spun the coin to decide who will serve, who will receive serve. They now head for their respective corners and coaches for last-minute advice. And they'll be coming back out to the table shortly, a two-minute pre-match practice. And then the quarter-final will commence. As always, it's the best of seven games. Rebecca Bergfeld from Sweden in charge of affairs in this men's singles quarter-final. And there's the assistant umpire from Canada. Erika and she's travelled a fair way, she's crossed the pond, as they say, to be here with us in Dusseldorf. I'm delighted to say, sitting next to me, is a young man who played here, represented Scotland, came through a very tough qualification group, got to the first round proper, which is a massive achievement in itself, and came across a young man called Timo Boll. The home crowd's favourite, number eight in the world. Record number of European titles, 11-time German champion, and I could go on. Gavin Rumge, and Gavin put in a great performance. That must have been one heck of an experience, Gavin. Yeah, it was It was awesome to be out there playing against Timo, and we, we had a good chat before the match even, so, yeah, you, you can tell he's, you know, a quality guy, a world-class player. And yeah, just, just learning all the time and, and hopefully now I can pass on some of the knowledge that I've possibly learned over the last few days to all of you guys and girls back at home. And so the players are out at the table. 22-year-old Koki Niwa, 20-year-old Fan Shendong, number two in the world at the top of the screen there in the red shirt with his back to the screen, the number 11 in the world, Koki Niwa. A little bit about Fan Shendong, quite clearly right-handed. He's an attacking player, a powerful attacking player. And there in the blue and black shirt, Koki Niwa. The stats there for you to see. Team Silver in Rio. There's the coach, Kurashima. Japan bringing a whole range of coaches. Fairly young in age, a fairly young batch of coaches coming over from Japan, clearly setting their stall out for the Olympic Games in Tokyo. And there, the CV of Fan Shendong, third place in Suzhou, World Cup winner 2016. And they don't come much better than that gentleman sat in the corner there, Wang Hao. Interestingly enough, Ma Long, in his first three World Championships, he, of course, is the number one seed here, defending his title. 
He lost in his first three World Championships in the semi-final all three times to Wang Hao. So, two-minute practice is now complete by the looks. Both players nod to each other. I'm OK if you're OK. Was that little nod? And how do you see this one going, Gavin? Well, obviously, Kokiniwa doing really well earlier on to take out Germany's top player here, Dmitry Ovcharov. He needs to stay close into the table. He's got any chance against Van Zendonk. These big power exchanges at the rear of the table will be really tough for him to match. First point to Fan Shendong. You mentioned the win of Koki Niwa against Ovcharov. Disappointing that was to the crowd, 8,000 German supporters. And it went to the seventh and final game. Niwa winning by the closest of margin, but it was a great game of table tennis, and table tennis was the winner. And Fang Shendong also beat a German player in the previous round. A great match. Ruin Filos, the defensive player, the 29-year-old from Germany. And that was a fantastic game. 4-2, Fang Shendong came through. But the entertainment value for the crowd was 10 out of 10. Meanwhile, Fan Shendong takes the first four points as his two serves to come. Good long push there, loose wrist cutting underneath the ball, heavy backspin. Fan Shendong was the winner of the Olympic Youth Games men's singles in 2014 in Nanjing. Beat Yuto Muramatsu, a teammate here of Kokiniwa. Japan have two players left in the men's singles. Kokiniwa in action here, and the next game on actually is the youngster Harimoto, the 13 year old. They have medals in every other event mixed doubles, the gold, men's doubles, the silver, women's doubles, they're guaranteed a medal. We don't know what colour yet. And in the one that I've missed out, the women's singles, they got a bronze medal. Hirano. So it's just the men's event where they may not medal. They need one of their next two players, Niwa here, or Harimoto next, to win through to the semi-final. Medal guaranteed. What a performance by this Japanese team. This first set, just getting away from Koki Niwa. Slow start from the Japanese player. But he was very good against Ovcharov in that final game. Three sets all. Been able to play as often as he could out to the wide Dmitry Ovcharov forehand. So under pressure, we know that this Japanese youngster can think very clearly. Okiniwa clawing his way back into this first game. But now he has to face the Fan Shendong serve. 4 0 down, he's got it back to 7 5. Oh, what a wonderful counter topspin. Anticipated well, he was stepping round the backhand to play that forehand topspin. Let's have a look if he went round. Yeah, he did, he gambled. He started to go around before Fan Chendong had committed himself to the diagonal. The gamble paid off. Oh, 
again he anticipated well he got into position well he went for the fast top spin down the line it would have been a winner for sure the tactics were very brave and that's what you've got to be against the Chinese players certainly the high ranked ones number two in the world go for it guided that ball well down the line a little bit of risk there was quite a bit of top spin on it Hits the top edge of Kokiniwa's bat, flies up into the lights. There it goes. So you can see in the, the opening stages, Kokiniwa, as he did in the match against Ovchirov, getting a little bit of change when he goes out to the wide forehand. Good combination there, the backhand and straight in with the forehand topspin. Takes it early, puts Fan Shendong under a lot of pressure. Big point for Fan Shendong here. Koki Niwa will have his two serves at the end of this first game. Chop block. Came down on the ball, tremendous shot. Under a lot of pressure and he comes out with a shot like that. It was unusual there as well, that chop block, it went really short on the table. And actually, Fan Zhengdong, if he wanted to make that shot round the net post, would have had to wait even longer for the ball to creep a bit wider. Oh, that was a lovely shot, and I think Koki Niwa had committed himself to play the forehand from the backhand side. Ball running round blind, taking a gamble, hoping the ball's going to come down that corner so you can play your forehand from the backhand side. Game point, Fan Shendong. Let's serve. No problems, just take the service again. And again, what a great backhand return. Of serve. Coming across wide to the forehand to return with the backhand on the diagonal. First game to Fan Shendong, 11-9. We'll be back for the second game shortly. And the players back out for the second game. A close encounter, the first game. Fan Shendong winning 11 points to 9. Niwa with the serve. I think tactically what I found a little bit surprising in that first game was that Niwa, when he was serving, was serving with no spin. The float serve is quite frequently. That basically is inviting the flick so we can get into topspin versus topspin. I would have thought the backspin serve, and let's have a little bit of short play, and then Koki Niwa in against the push ball would have been a better tactic. I don't know what you think, Gavin. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you, you would think in, in the open, big, fast, fast rallies, that's going to suit fans end up. So going or opting for some tighter chop serves would definitely suit Koki Niwa. I'd say he's got a little bit more of the, the deft touch around the net. Good forehand topspin from Niwa there. Very short, very compact. Fan Shendong changed his mind there. He was going across to return with the backhand. I think he realised he couldn't get there, so he quickly adjusted his footwork, played the forehand topspin, but the change in mind resulted in him losing the point. And that's a classic example, short pushing exchange, Niwa coming in against the push ball.
4-2, Japan lead. Reverse action service there, the bat going away from the body, brushing underneath the ball, brushing across the side of the ball to vary the spin. It looked like he went underneath the ball there, so that'd be back spin and side spin. Two out of two. Interesting there, I think we saw one of the Japanese spectators wearing a mask, and I was asking about... Um, were they worried about the pollution? But in fact, it, it's it's tradition in Japan. If you have a cold yourself, you wear a mask, so it's, you're less likely to spread the germs, which is a very considerate thing to do. And there's the young lady there. Actually, Chinese, it looks like. She's got the Chinese flag, but the same principle. Ooh, that wasn't far off. Always got to watch them. Nothing worse turning around to your corner. I've won the point, and then all of a sudden you hear it hit the table behind you. Better play that, though, from Koki Niwa. You just feel that's the sort of rally you would fancy him to be in the ascendancy. Touch, touch. Keep the fans in Dong, big forehands and backhands out. Oh, that's world class. Koki Niwa did well, we'll see on the replay. Here's Niwa, he goes round, he plays a good top spin, but just look at that. First you've got to have the reactions, then you've got to have the ability to take that ball off the bounds. I've not seen a lot of Niwa play. I've, I've, I've watched him in a few games. Is he as pumped up as he normally? I, I seem to remember him being a little bit more aggressive, whether he's just consciously staying calm, just taking every point as it comes. In the doubles, the two Japanese players were fighting and shouting and screaming when they won points. Highly motivated, highly vocal. Kokiniwa seems fairly subdued. Maybe that's his, his normal, his modus operandi. Yeah, he's, he's quite a calm individual, but he, he did get the adrenaline going against... Dmitry Ovcharov though and he you know a couple of times it was the, the double fisted shows in the air and no he was he was quite animated certainly for his personality. He faces four game points now. And that's a great forehand top spin. That's been his best shot of the match so far. Staying close to the table, creating, constructing a rally so that he can get that forehand top spin in off the bounce. Fan Shendong in with the top spin, 11-7. Fan Shendong leads by two games to nil. Wang Hao looks reasonably relaxed. We'll be back for the third game very soon. Third game, Fan Shendong to serve. Oh, 
Heavy back's been on the service, loose, loose grip. A lot of wrist action going underneath the ball. Heavy backspin. <laughs> Touch play. And in with the first top spin is what Kokiniwa needs. a few edge balls will be very useful very quickly acknowledges his good fortune you'll see here Kokiniwa there he goes on the diagonal and this is the one no it's not it's this one coming up there it is off the side of the table it's the norm now at this top level when the ball's short on your forehand or mid-table to come across and return with the backhand. You see that more often than players are actually returning it with the forehand. there a little mix of serving change the placement when someone's coming in and backhand flicking you out the park like Fan Zeng Dong's been doing it's important to change the placements short short to the forehand long to the backhand fast into the middle so that you can't get on top of those shots hit that backhand quite flat Fan Zeng Dong straight through the ball rather than brushing the ball and then we just have a look at the distribution the match rally bounce area for Koki. And there we have it for Fan Shen Dong. And just look at that 48%. Going out to the corner. Block. Didn't quite pull it off this time. Five points each. That's where he's good. Whipping that forehand topspin off the bounds. He's missed very few. I'm waiting for the first celebration at the moment. He's very calm, very relaxed. Fan Shen Dong there. Punching the air with his fist. There it goes, straight down the line. He's been what? successful with that two or three occasions now. He goes out to the wide four. So many players, when they go out to the wide forehand, lose a little bit of ground from the table. Fan Zeng Dong actually moves across and slightly forwards to the ball. That's what you should do. Lifting what he thought was backspin. There wasn't the backspin there to lift, so the ball goes off the end of the table. It's very good deception. And the Japanese coach on his feet. Timeout called. Of course, this third game crucial for Koki Niwa. If he goes 3 0 down against Fan Shen Dong, he's got to win four out of four games. And that's going to be a big mountain to climb. So the coach obviously appreciating the importance of this situation for the Japanese player. Hoping to break the momentum, although there's not a lot of momentum, it's sort of nip and tuck this game, one point, one point. They're alternating the lead fairly frequently. So, I don't know what you think, Gavin, good time out? Yeah, fair enough, but, you know, from, from Koki Nemo's perspective, he, he needs to keep spraying the serves around, because if Fan Zeng Dong continues to get this backhand flicking, he's dominating, and he's dictating right from the start of the rally. 
often you find as well, someone's backhand flicking you out of the park, you have to think, right, maybe I can do the same to my opponent. So Fan Shen Dong, one serve left in this sequence of two, and here it comes, 7-6, China lead. Kokinewa was again chanting his arm. He was stepping round the backhand side to get in with that forehand. Fan Shen Dong went down with went down the line. Good tactics, but he overcooked it. Strong backhand from the forehand side of the table on the return of serve. What he's trying to do there, though, he's trying to match a good shot with another good shot. You don't need to do that. Fan Shen Dong hits a great backhand flick. Why not give him a lollipop block back? You know, you don't need to play a big, fast shot against a big, fast shot. That's when sometimes you can come unstuck. He certainly does it quite a lot, Niwad, stepping round the backhand side. He's doing it again, we'll just see on the replay. Just watching carefully. There he goes. Just leaves himself completely exposed down the line. Two game points for China. Kokoniwa has the lifeline that is his service. But he has to win both points. the chance he's, he's in he takes it early backhand and forehand the backhand from Fan Shen Dong didn't have a lot of pace on the ball gave Niwa the time he needed but there it is the service slightly long and a good backhand topspin from Fan Shen Dong three games to nil China lead and the fourth will start shortly and we'll be back for that there on the shot placements from Fan Shen Dong he was there was a lot more out wide to Kokini was forehand that's because he knows Kokini was keen to run round and play forehand from the backhand side of the table so Fan Shen Dong playing tactically an astute game I'm amazed how many serves have drifted over the white line, which allows Fan Shen Dong then to play a, you know, a good length shot, get some power on in the ball, instead of making him play over the table. Come on, that's unbelievable. I mean, Fan Shen Dong matching Koki Niwa's forehand with his backhand. That's what we were talking about before, push, little pushing rallies. Kokoniwa gets in against the push ball, wins the point, 3-1 lead. Push, push to start the rally. Kokoniwa wins the point. 
That's a lovely shot, that. That's a great touch. More than a million miles from making that. Another couple of inches higher, that would have rolled across the table. Clever serve. Short serves and then the occasional long, fast one. Perfect tactics. And he's keeping it to chop. So that then if Fan Zhengdon did attack, he's got to lift the backspin up over the net. That takes a little bit more time. And then Kokiniwa can play over the top of that ball aggressively. Still to show any emotion as Kokiniwa, maybe he used all that up this morning in his quarter-final win against Ovcharov, which of course was 11-9 in the seventh game, I believe. <laughs> of course here we've spoken about it I know it's not all about rankings but certainly the higher you rank the more confidence that you have and here I think you were saying Gavin we're playing for three times normal points that you acquire you acquire points by playing in tournaments around the world but here there's a bonus factor three times as many points and then a bonus system for how far you get in the tournament so Koki Niwa's win against Ovcharov would be big points. And that will put him on the, the list that will come out on Tuesday or Wednesday morning, I believe. that will put him comfortably in the top ten in the world. the list but it's not looking as though that's going to happen although he is seven three nil down but he is seven five up in the fourth game again that backhand out wide to Neil's forehand paying dividends Again, clawing his way back, Fan Shendong. Oh, what a good shot there. Laid the wrist back. And the ball going out wide to Koki Niwa's forehand, as opposed to down the backhand where Niwa thought it was going. So seven points each. Niwa's his best, isn't it? When it's a topspin to topspin, he takes the ball so early. A little bit of backspin on that return of serve there. He sort of came under the ball. It was a you described that to me, Gavin, that return yeah, that, of serve. That, that was a little slow, flat flick. And by the time the ball actually arrives at Fan Zingdong, it, actually, it has nothing, it has no momentum on it, which then means in turn that Fan Zingdong has to generate his own power. That backhand return of serve from the forehand side of the table has worked ever so well for Fan Zingdong throughout this match. 9-8, and remember, Fan Shendong will have his two serves at the end of this fourth game, so this point crucial for Niwa. That gives him a definite chance now. Fan Shendong has to take both serves with the service to keep this fourth game alive. Two game points, Japan. Takes the fourth game. 
11 points to 8. It's now 3-1. The players back to the corners. And we'll be back when the fifth game commences. Fifth game, Fan Shendong to serve the ball. That was a weird and wonderful return. It's a long backspin, side spin push from the old days. That I used to play shots like that. Trying to mix it up. He's trying to give. Fan Zhengdong, zero rhythm. High ball, side spin ball, chop block, side spin. Again, that forehand from the backhand side, ever so reliable for Fan Shendong. Oh, oh, oh! I think the umpire is called the let serve. A bit unfortunate for Koki Niwa. There you can see the hand very clearly up in the air. And so now Fan Chen Dong, two serves to come, leads 3-1. A bit adventurous there, the chop block on a long, fast forehand. Backhand, it was a forehand topspin from Fan Shendong. Difficult chop, difficult to do the chop block. Doesn't believe, does he? He's just needs to get himself fired up somehow. Got that 59% short on the left-hand side of the table. As we look at the table, that's short too. The forehand. And what's frustrating for me is when I, Koki Ni was playing tactically well, he's got the ammunition, he's got a great backhand and forehand topspin. But he's just not really believed at any stage that he's going to win this. I think he was quite surprised when he managed to, when he pinched the game there. That was the impression I got. Lack of self-belief. Maybe, maybe emotionally, playing this morning and beating off Chirov, you know, in such an epic game, has just taken a little bit too much out of him. But you should be able to pick yourself up. If you're going to win a tournament, you have to have a big win, and then you've got to put, get, forget it, recompose, and come back for the next one. Twenty two years of age. I mentioned earlier that he was somewhat of a child prodigy, Kokiniwa. At the young age of 11, he was in the Japanese under-18 team. And Fan Shendong, of course, was an outstanding youngster as well, winning the 
Olympic Youth Games in 2014, some three years ago in Nanjing. It's interesting, isn't it? In some sports, you can start quite late and become a world champion. In rowing, you can take it up late. In cycling, quite a few of the Olympic sports. When would you say you've got to be a top-class player? If you're not a top-class player by the t by you by what age are you not going to make it as a top-class player? Yeah, I think a lot of these guys, you know, they are world-class juniors as well. So, yeah, you've got to be playing the game, I would say, from 13, 14 years old. To a high level, at, at a high level at 13, 14. Yeah, definitely. Five match points for China. The exception to that, obviously, being Werner Schlager. Well, that's a good point. St still outside the top 200 in the world in his 20s, and then strided through. But, but then I'm thinking of the Volners, the Gattiens, the Roscoffs, the Persons. You're all very good junior players, all European junior champions in one shape or another. A match point saved by Koki Niwa. A relatively comfortable victory for Fon Fan Shendong. He wins the fifth game, 11-6. He's through by four games to one. He's through to the semi-final of the World Championships here in Dusseldorf. And Japan's Koki Niwa. This tournament comes to a conclusion. But he'll be, when he reflects, quarter-final. Did better than his seeding suggests. So well done, Niwa. But there, a pretty convincing victory for Fan Shendong. Well done, China. Our former commentator, Johnny Cowan, there enters the arena. Post-match analysis from the Bel Belfast backhand. China. Er hat gewonnen hier heute Abend Fan Zhendong. Zhendong, another fantastic match. You were leading 3-0. Koki Niwa, he's fighting back in the fourth game. But you won the fifth game very easy. What did you change? What did you do differently to win the last game? In the last game, 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 找到自己的节奏吧，因为之前还是三比零领先的时候，那一局可能对方也是变了一些节奏。第五局还是就是找到自己的节奏，我觉得最重要的。After the third round, he feels like his opponent changed up the rhythm a little bit, and then later on in the last round, he was just looking for his own rhythm and successfully found it. Fantastic. We saw you winning the men's doubles earlier today, Zendong. You go into the semi-final of the singles tomorrow. Can, what do you think your chances are of winning the men's singles here in Dusseldorf? Uh, so he feels like today has definitely been a really tiring day. He did doubles and then now he's doing singles. And he feels like everyone that's in the top four has a pretty good chance of winning. He just hopes he can perform his best. Fantastic. Well, good luck, Chen Dong. Fantastic play. He's through. He'll take on Lee Sang Su. And uh, we wish you well. Everybody, Fan Chen Dong. Hen Hao. Hen Hao. Sehr gut gespielt. Danke. She she. And we have two balls for signing from Fan Chen Dong.
to hit into the crowd. Who'd like a ball signed by Fan Jandong? Yes. Welcome back to Dusseldorf and the World Table Tennis Championships. We're back to the men's singles. It's the quarterfinals. Eight players left in these World Championships in the men's singles. And we're now going to see a spectacular entrance of the players. There is one table left in this central arena, 8,000 seats around it. It's been sold out for three days, the last three days of the competition. And here comes Koki Niwa, the 22-year-old from Japan. What a tournament Japan are having. Koki Niwa ranked number 11 in the world, somewhat of a child prodigy, really, Koki Niwa. At the age of 11, he was part of the Japanese under-18 team. Hasn't really delivered massively on the singles scene as a senior player. Team silver in Rio, he's got an Olympic silver medal. Now he's up against a formidable opponent here. Seeded number two, world ranked number two at the age of 20, Fan Shendong. Potentially the young pretender, the player in waiting. And as he waited long enough, could Dusseldorf be where he wins his first men's singles title? His teammates, Marlong, the number one seed, 28 years of age. Xu Xin, his doubles partner, he's now the world doubles champion. He won that a few hours ago. He's 27 years of age. Fan Shendong, just 20. So the players spinning the coin at this stage. They've been introduced to the crowd. They've shaken hands with the officials. They've spun the coin to decide who will serve, who will receive serve. They now head for their respective corners and coaches for last-minute advice. And they'll be coming back out to the table shortly, a two minutes pre-match practice. And then the quarter-final will commence. As always, it's the best of seven games. Rebecca Bergfeld from Sweden in charge of affairs in this men's singles quarter-final. And there's the assistant umpire from Canada. Erica and she's travelled a fair way, she's crossed the pond, as they say, to be here with us in Dusseldorf. I'm delighted to say, sitting next to me, is a young man who played here, represented Scotland, came through a very tough qualification group, got to the first round proper, which is a massive achievement in itself, and came across a young man called Timo Boll. The home crowd's favourite, number eight in the world. Record number of European titles, 11-time German champion, and I could go on. Gavin Rumge, and Gavin put in a great performance. That must have been one heck of an experience, Gavin. Yeah, it was It was awesome to be out there playing against Timo, and we, we had a good chat before the match even, so, yeah. He points as his two serves to come. Good long push there, loose wrist cutting underneath the ball, heavy backspin. Fan Shendong was the winner of the Olympic Youth Games men's singles in 2014 in Nanjing. Beat Yuto Muramatsu, a teammate here of Koki Niwa. Japan have two players left in the men's singles. Koki Niwa in action here, and the next game on, actually, is the youngster Harimoto, the 13-year-old. They have medals in every other event. Mixed doubles, the gold. Men's doubles, the silver. Women's doubles, they're guaranteed a medal. We don't know what colour yet. And in the one that I've missed out, the women's singles, they got a bronze medal. Hirano. So it's just the men's event where they may not medal. They need one of their next two players, Niwa here, or Harimoto next to win through to the semi-final. Medal guaranteed. What a performance by this Japanese team. This first set, just getting away from Koki Niwa. Slow start from the Japanese player. 
but he was very good against Ovcharov in that final game. Three sets all, been able to play as often as he could out to the wide Dmitry Ovcharov forehand. So under pressure, we know that this Japanese youngster can think very clearly. Okiniwa clawing his way back into this first game but now he has to face the Fan Shendong serve 4-0 down he's got it back to 7-5 Anticipated well, he was stepping round the backhand to play that forehand topspin. Let's have a look if he went round. Yeah, he did, he gambled. He started to go around before Fan Chendong had committed himself to the diagonal. The gamble paid off. Again, he anticipated well, he got into position well, he went for the fast topspin down the line. It would have been. You can tell he's, you know, a quality guy, a world-class player, and yeah, just just learning all the time. And and hopefully now I can pass on some of the knowledge that I've possibly learned over the last few days to all of you guys and girls back at home. And so the players are out at the table. 22-year-old Kokiniwa, 20-year-old Fan Shendong. Number two in the world at the top of the screen there in the red shirt, with his back to the screen, the number 11 in the world, Koki Niwa. A little bit about Fan Shendong, quite clearly right-handed. He's an attacking player, a powerful attacking player. And there in the blue and black shirt, Koki Niwa. The stats there for you to see. Team Silver in Rio. There's the coach, Kurashima, Japan bring in a whole range of coaches fairly young in age a fairly young batch of coaches coming over from Japan clearly setting their stall out for the Olympic Games in Tokyo and there the CV of Fan Shendong third place in the Suzhou World Cup winner 2016 and they don't come much better than that gentleman sat in the corner there Wang Hao interestingly enough Ma Long in his first three world championships, he, of course, is the number one seed here, defending his title. He lost in his first three world championships in the semi-final all three times to Wang Hao. So, two-minute practice is now complete by the looks. Both players nod to each other. I'm OK if you're OK, was that little nod? And how do you see this one going, Gavin? Well, obviously... Kokiniwa doing really well earlier on to take out Germany's top player here, Dmitry Ovcharov. He needs to stay close into the table if he's got any chance against Fan Zendong. These big power exchanges at the rear of the table will be really tough for him to match. First point to Fan Shendong. You mentioned the win of Koki Niwa against Ovcharov. Disappointing that was to the crowd, 8,000 German supporters. And it went to the seventh and final game. Niwa winning by the closest of margin, but it was a great game of table tennis, and table tennis was the winner. And Fan Shendong also beat a German player in the previous round. A great match. Ruin Filos, the defensive player, the 29-year-old from Germany. And that was a fantastic game, 4-2, Fan Shendong came through. 
but the entertainment value for the crowd was 10 out of 10. Meanwhile, Fan Shen Dong takes the first four. Winner for sure, the tactics were very brave. And that's what you've got to be against the Chinese players, certainly the high-ranked ones, number two in the world. Go for it. Guided that ball well down the line. A little bit of risk, there was quite a bit of topspin on it. Hits the top edge of Koki Niwa's bat, flies up into the lights. There it goes. So you can see in the, the opening stages, Koki Niwa, as he did in the match against Ovchirov, getting a little bit of change when he goes out to the wide forehand. Good combination there, the backhand, and straight in with the forehand topspin. Takes it early, puts Fan Shendong under a lot of pressure. Big point for Fan Shendong here. Koki Niwa will have his two serves at the end of this first game. Chop block. Came down on the ball, tremendous shot. Under a lot of pressure and he comes out with a shot like that. It was unusual there as well, that chop block. It went really short on the table. And actually, Fan Zhengdong, if he wanted to make that shot round the net post, would have had to wait even longer for the ball to creep a bit wider. Oh, that was a lovely shot, and I think Koki Niwa had committed himself to play the forehand from the backhand side. Called running round blind, taking a gamble, hoping the ball's going to come down that corner so you can play your forehand from the backhand side. Game point, Fan Shendong. Let's serve. No problems, just take the service again. And again, what a great backhand return of serve. Coming across wide to the forehand to return with the backhand on the diagonal. First game to Fan Shendong, 11-9. We'll be back for the second game shortly. players back out for the second game a close encounter the first game Fan Shendong winning 11 points to 9 Niwa with the serve I think tactically what I found a little bit surprising in that first game was that Niwa when he was serving was serving with no spin the float serve is quite frequently that basically is inviting the flick so we can get into topspin versus topspin I would have thought the backspin serve and let's have a little bit of short play and then Koki Niwa in against the push ball would have been a better tactic I don't know what you think Gavin yeah definitely I mean you, you would think in the, in the open big fast fast rallies that's going to suit fans end up so going or opting for some tighter chop serves would definitely suit Koki Niwa I'd say he's got a little bit more of the, the deft touch around the net Good forehand topspin from Niwa there. Very short, very compact. Fan Shendong changed his mind there. He was going across to return with the backhand. I think he realised he couldn't get there, so he quickly adjusted his footwork. Played the forehand topspin, but the change in mind resulted in him losing the point. And that's a classic example, short pushing exchange. Niwa coming in against the push ball.
4-2, Japan lead. Reverse action service there, the bat going away from the body, brushing underneath the ball, brushing across the side of the ball to vary the spin. It looked like he went underneath the ball there, so that'd be back spin and side spin. Two out of two. Interesting there, I think we saw one of the Japanese spectators wearing a mask, and I was asking about um, were they worried about the pollution, but in fact, it, it's it's tradition in Japan. If you have a cold yourself, you wear a mask, so it's, you're less likely to spread the germs, which is a very considerate thing to do. And there's the young lady there. Actually, Chinese, it looks like. She's got the Chinese flag, but the same principle. Ooh, that wasn't far off. Always got to watch them. Nothing worse turning around to your corner. I've won the point, and then all of a sudden you hear it hit the table behind you. Better play that, though, from Koki Niwa. You just feel that's the sort of rally you would fancy him to be in the ascendancy. Touch, touch. 